Hello Ace, this is RetroTK2 and today you'll learn how to create a Windows 10 boot disk in USB. We'll download the media creation tool from the Microsoft website. Then we'll create our USB boot device. After that I'll show you how to create and burn our ISO image to a DVD. And finally we'll restart the computer and fire up our boot devices. Nice and easy today Ace, so let's get started. Creating a boot disk is a piece of cake in Windows 10 and thankfully it's not like the days of old. Fire up your web browser of choice and type Windows 10 USB into any search engine. It should be the first link, but if it isn't, look for one saying download Windows 10 disk image ISO file, or simply check the description of this video. Click on the download tool now button. Once it's finished downloading, click the media creation tool.exe and click yes if the UAC dialog pops up. The Windows 10 setup dialog should appear and after a short time it should show you an agreement dialog. Read through this agreement if you like, yes, but as with most agreements on the net, you'll more than likely just click the accept button without a second thought. After another fairly brief getting a few things ready dialog box, you'll be hit with the option to upgrade this PC now to Windows 10 or to create installation media in the form of a USB, ISO file or DVD. We'll want to click the create installation media radio button here, yes, and then click the next button. Now we get the chance to change our language and addition settings. I'm happy enough with the current settings to be honest Ace, but should you feel the need to change them, uncheck the checkbox beside use the recommended options for this PC and the settings should now be editable. Once you're happy, click the next button. Now we need to choose which media we're going to create. If you want to create a USB boot drive, select the USB flash drive radio button. Or to create a DVD, click the ISO file radio button. Again Ace, click next when you're ready. If you take the blue pill. Sorry Ace, I couldn't resist. If you select the USB radio button, you'll be brought to a dialog asking you to select a USB flash drive. For me, I want my boot disk to be the E drive, aptly named TK2 Flash. Once you've selected the drive, click next and your download will begin. Sit back, relax and enjoy about half an hour of download and media creation Ace. You can still use the computer if you like, so feel free to watch whatever you want. Once it's complete, a dialog saying your USB flash drive is ready should show. With it all done, click next, let the setup clean itself before it closes and you have now created a USB boot disk. The ISO creation is very similar to the USB boot. Simply select the ISO file radio button and click next. Select a location to save the iOS file is. The ISO file is about 4 GB, so make sure you are saving to a drive that has enough space and click save. The creation of the ISO file is a lot quicker than the USB boot, and after about 12 minutes you'll have a brand spanking new Windows 10 ISO in your save location. Click finish and wait for setup to clean itself once again. Ok, insert a blank DVD disk into your computer ace. It has to have enough space to save Windows to it, so a standard 4.7 GB DVD should be perfect. Once that's all done, right click on the ISO file and click Burn Disk Image. When the dialog pops up, click the checkbox beside Verify Disk after burning and click Burn. If like me, you've cheated and used a DVD with data on it, you'll get a warning dialog saying, the disk in the selected drive already has content on it and needs to be erased before the disk image can be burned to the disk. Are you sure you want to erase the disk and content on it? If you're happy enough to erase the disk, click yes to get this show on the road. The burn should start and after 16 and a half short minutes you'll have your very own Windows 10 DVD boot disk. Wonderful Ace. Yes. A couple of things to note about the disk burning process before we move on. You may, like me, be unfortunate enough to run into this error when you're trying to burn the ISO. The write speed for the recordable disc is either too fast or too slow for your CD or DVD burner. Insert a recordable disc that has a different write speed and then try again. Now this error really doesn't explain all that much is, or at least it didn't to me. So I decided to try and burn the ISO with a third party disc burner. The software I chose for this is called IMG Burn or Image Burn. If you search IMG Burn on any search engine it should be the first link. I'll also leave the link in the description for you too, yes. As for which mirror to use, I'd advise using the one provided by IMG Burn, but feel free to choose whichever one you like. 
It should be a pretty standard install, just keep clicking next until you reach the end and the program should be good to go. Insert a disk and open Image Burn. Click the right image file, the disk, and then click the icon of a folder with a magnifying glass under the source text. Here I'm selecting the Windows ISO we've just created. With all that done, click the button with the file to disk icon and click yes on the dialog to format the disk. Image Burn is a pretty good piece of kit and is a great alternative to the Windows 10 disk burner. What with its log window and pleasing sound when the disk fails to burn. Oh no! I don't really know what to make of that is, but hey, it does the job I guess. From the logs we can see that the burn failed because of a power calibration area error. What is the power calibration area? Well, according to eBay, the power calibration area, PCA, is an area on CD, DVD, BD that is used by the recorder burner writer to find out how powerful a laser needs to be to successfully write to the disc. It's very close to the center of the disc. If there's physical damage to the power calibration area, or there's an interference issue with the burner laser lens or its ability to move, the CD DVD BR burning software won't be able to determine the optimum power calibration rate. A small pre burn test to determine optimal laser power for writing. And a disc burn failure or coaster will occur, resulting in an error message power calibration error or medium speed error. To solve this issue, I simply used another disc case. I'm sure there's a bunch of disc repair techniques you could try, but hey, for the sake of speed and effort, I'd say just buy another disc. With all that fun out of the way, we're ready to restart the computer and fire up our boot discs. To start the computer in a boot disc mode, if we can call it that, you have to select the desired boot disc from the boot menu. To get access to the boot menu on my computer, I have to press F11 on my computer's startup screen. Your computer will probably differ here is, since it all depends on your BIOS. Once the menu shows up, I simply navigate down to my boot disk, the USB in this case, and hit enter to start it up. If you don't have a boot menu yes, you can reorder the boot devices through your BIOS settings. For me, I have to press F2 to access my BIOS settings on the main screen. When it loads up, you should have a tab similar to the boot tab of my BIOS. Navigate to that using the arrow keys. Head down using the down arrow, select the first boot device and press enter. From here you can select whichever device you want to boot from, DVD in this case, and hit enter. You can change the selection if you're not happy with it is, and when you're done you'll need to navigate to the exit tab and select save changes and exit. I really don't like this method since you have to keep going into the BIOS and reordering the boot devices. If you have a boot menu yes, I definitely suggest using that. Windows may take a bit of time to start depending on the type of device you've selected. With our USB it takes about 2 minutes to get it up and running though your mileage may vary here is. When it finally does start, you'll be greeted with a language settings dialog. Feel free to change these settings is, but I'm happy to just click next. You can do a fresh install of Windows 10 by clicking the install now text. On the other hand, I'm going to click the repair your computer option. A new menu should show up and from here you can continue to Windows 10, turn off your PC or troubleshoot with advanced options. The Troubleshoot menu has some great features and allows you to perform a system restore or a full system image recovery. Feel free to check out my system restore video Ace. the card should be on your screen now. The DVD boot is very similar to the USB, but instead of selecting a USB device we need to select the CD DVD option instead. You'll be asked to press any key to boot from CD or DVD, my key of choice was enter. After that we have about a 3 minute wait until we can use the boot disk, and when it does start we're once again hit with that familiar language screen. You should now be able to create your very own boot devices Ace. And that's it. Rate, comment and subscribe Ace, I'm sure you're well. You can email me at retrotk2 at gmail.com with any questions about the boot. Thank you for watching Ace, and I'll see you in the next video.